guys. How you doing? Just a little February update. Uh, sorry I haven't been around lately. Uh, I've been very busy, family and stuff. Uh, anyways, um, just want to let you know that, to be honest, I haven't had any time to do any testings or nothing with this tank for the past three weeks. Uh, all I has been doing, it's running. I have no clue how this tank is actually still up after three weeks. I mean, I feed it even less because I just don't have the time. Um, but anyways, this is, this is, I guess, the new update for you guys. And I just, I have been very, very busy. Some of you know what I, you know, what I'm going through. Most of you don't. But anyways, back to it. Um, I mean, I've seen some growth, some areas. I've seen some, I guess, pause and different areas. Um, I've moved the curls a little bit and that was prior to my busyness. Um, I haven't had a good chance to even watch the tank much. It's just been crazy, guys. Um, but that's the green heavy reactors. You can see the hammer. You can see the Samokara. I mean, the Samokara's bumps are it's spiking out really good. And I like that. Uh, this, this scroll coral is looking beautiful. It's it's actually gotten really big uh, compared to when I got it, and uh, it's recuperated a lot since the power outage. And these are the yellow mellows or the mellow yellows. Uh, to be honest, yellow. Mm, they're actually turning green. Um, don't know about that. These guys, they're yellow and green. They kind of look like the Green Bay colors sort of uh, combination. They're looking great, but they're not really spreading too much. Um, as you can see here, the yellow polyps, they're spreading out to that rock nicely, as you did see with the mellow yellows. Uh, you can see right here is the scrambled eggs. Uh, you've noticed that I only bought three heads. It's covering that rock pretty good. Uh, the pink pulsating zinnia. Um, that's the reason why I kind of don't like LEDs with video because it's, at least with this camera, everything is blue. That's the mid corona. It's growing pretty big. Um, it's branching out pretty nicely too. I'm liking that. Uh, I noticed that at least the bottom parts of it, so where it doesn't get much LED light, it's actually so sort of looking like it's dying out on me. That's a little concerned. Uh, this is the blue Kavona, and as you can see, it is growing onto the rock. It is looking fairly good. Uh, now that I actually see it, <laughs> it is actually forming on the rock pretty nicely. Um, so I guess that's a win for me. I'll the war coral or Fabia coral. This guy, as they call it, is a war coral. I've never seen any tentacles pop or nothing. That devil's hand is looking marvelous. I love it. Look at all these extensions. It is growing pretty, pretty good. Uh, these Zoas, uh, they actually push it upon the glass now and um, as you can see i have one aptasia and that is the only aptasia i have in the entire tank because my peppermint shrimp do not get to it i've tried to kill it it just doesn't die it keeps growing back leave it alone uh the kenya tree is growing pretty good um if you remember, I had it onto the left corner of the tank. Now I moved it more to the center. That it's in the same rock with the green star polyps. Now I think it's giving too much shade to the green star polyps. It's not really spreading as much as possible. Now these acans, um, they're doing all right, I guess. Uh, that's the blue liptasia, and it has grown, but it's very slow. That is the meat coral that many people call it. Uh, that looks pretty good. It's always been that way. That's the green cabbage. That is the trachyphilia, which I always call the beast. Um, it looks like the meat coral is pushing upon 
they're trichophilia, so I'm gonna have to separate them too. Other than that, it does look still healthy. Now this pissed me off today because I was cleaning the glass and it happened to be that the magnet hit my crush editing with Monty and uh, that pissed me off. But it's a show of growth. Now this, as I, I did it last time for, for January, so you can see the Aqua C Remore Pro S is not a failure guys, you just gotta use it properly. This is very, very dark. As you can see, light can barely penetrate it. Um, I don't have an issue with this uh, skimmer. It works great. I don't have any issues with it, never did. As you can see, the tank is not failing because of it. No hair algae anywhere, everything's doing great. The fish, well, I still have to uh, contact DC Reefer in order to take the yellow tank to him. Uh, now I do notice some hostility now uh, with the tank being from the 55 down to the 35 cube and I believe it's due to space. Uh, these guys I believe need more space. Uh, they become a little hostile. Something that I've never experienced. I did get a Fisher's Dwarf Angel and uh, both my Clarky and my tomato clown are beating the crap out of it and when I saw that as you can see it has like a little white spot and I thought that was actually um, uh, what you call it their disease I thought it was and it's not it actually is a scale that has lifted due to uh, the tomato clown beating out to him uh, he's been hiding quite a bit I'm kind of little concern about him but it's territory uh, he clownfish just now he's claiming territory and as you can see he's claimed the very center now to the sump as you can if you remember back in January uh, when I pruned my uh, chetamorpha or chetamorpha uh, I did I took out maybe half a five gallon bucket now it hasn't grown as much from the last time I uh, I pruned him but he's still big and uh, that's still uh, telling me that it's uh, exporting nutrients so that's that's still good uh, the thump is doing good I mean there's no outbreaks anywhere no algae no nothing everything still looks clear and I have done no maintenance to that sump since I installed the whole the whole system anyways guys you take care uh, I try to do more updates as I can guys but bear with me all right take care guys peace later